Haters like the defining characteristics of hate crimes. It's not actually hate. The defining characteristic of hate crime. Even if you get stuck on the last line of the verse. Wait, what is it again? Yeah. The defining characteristic of a hate crime is not actually hate, it's prejudice. We use the word hate to define it because the prejudice is born of a hateful climate. It's the judgment prior to the punishment. It's the inaction of others despite their astonishment. It's the misinformation that instigates disintegration. See, the violence occurs in the silence at first. Then after a while, you can find it in words. The standard abuse and the language that's used to leave our sense of humanness bandaged and bruised. Calls for justice become anguish infused when some politicians start brandishing views that rob human beings of their right to be human. Not their human rights, their right to be human. The defining characteristic of a hate crime is not actually hate, it's prejudice. We use the word hate to define it because the prejudice is born of a hateful climate. But a climate is a collective mood. It's not an individual selective move. And in the face of political ineptitude, we only have one option. Let's improve. Hate is such a strong word for such a weak emotion. A wound can't heal if hatred keeps it open. And not all wounds can be physically revealed, but they do all deserve the ability to heal. So let's stand for the belief in living free. Let me find the courage within me, giving meaning to the first seven letters of the word responsibility with an E. What's your response? For the future generations, we've got to start providing some guidance because this will be a time that defines us. Because you can't fight violence with silence. <laughs>